up, y'all. Well, I got in the bed at probably about five o'clock. Came in early. My baby was up, so I came. So I came home at all. Um, I got in the bed. I couldn't sleep, so I say, you know what? Um, God, we ain't we ain't sat at the round table in a long time, so you know I used to just. While I was working overnight, I used to just lay there and um talk to God all night. I wouldn't go to sleep until like daylight. But, um, so me, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus and God, we all sit at the table and we just chop it up, you know, drinking uh, uh, some water. We drank some water and coffee, H2O. So. Uh, I did that to about give or take nine o'clock. Then my family got out to bed. So from five to ten, I was you know chopping game, chopping it up with with, with my fam. Oh, uh, and when my family got out to bed, um. Father said, "Go to the war room. You know their their closet, my, my war room. So you know, I took my look. I take I, I I usually take my blanket so I can wrap it around my shoulders and I get on my knees and I pray. Then I I, I rotate to uh, read my Bible. If I get sleepy or something, Satan try to make me sleepy when I go in there because I turn them lights off." Most of the time, I like to see nothing. And it's just me, and, me and God. So, uh, um, I was in there, uh, praying. I'm like, God, you want to tell me something? So I'm trying to figure out what He want to tell me. Talking to Him, and He's, um talking to me about this person that I need to um, bless and I'm like okay cool um and I feel like what he was meant what he was about to tell me was like it was coming I, I felt what he was about to say it was, I felt it was near and um man I felt some crawl on my leg man and so it broke my my concentration I thought it was a spider. I turn on the light, it's an ant. I kill it. So I look in the carpet and I see another ant. And I see another ant. And then so I I switch 
I turn around and I see another ant. I see another ant. So, mind you, I've been in the closet for a good three months. And I've never had that type, no issues. Like, I laid down in that closet and slept in the closet and prayed and did all kinds, of, laid all, all up in that closet. I ain't never been, been had no ant crawl up on me or nothing. Um, so that's when I kind of figured, I said, you know, Satan is either trying to block my message or he's trying to delay some type of blessing. So I get up and go lay back in the bed. And uh, I'm just praying in the bed. It's just not. It's not. It's not the same. Praying in the bed than in, in my war room. But um, I I just couldn't go to sleep. You know, it was attacking me all day, and had and I had like for the first time in a long time. I, I, I was, I, I got kind of mad, and uh, like mad to make my teachers like, and I was, while I'm doing that, I'm just sitting here thinking like, you know, Satan trying to get you to bring back some of them old, some of them old emotions, boy. Like, man, look, I'm not trying to go there. I'm like, man. <sighs> no, make a long story short. I had to. I talk. I, I called my homie, and he, he, he got. I knew he was gonna tell me what I needed to hear at the time. He, yeah, because he was, he was, he was spitting scriptures at me that I had either just read prior day prior or I was like almost thinking them but it just like wasn't I don't I, I can't I, it just wasn't clicking for me right then so I, I needed to hear it from somebody else so I got the phone with him and I prayed and, you know I, I told God I, I'm sorry because my faith wasn't my faith wasn't strong like it needed to be and I had just went through a whole couple of days of uh, my faith being tested before I was sick and I didn't take no medicine because God told me not to. And I had to fight a, a headache and instead of just taking some BC powder to get it out the way, God told me to keep holding on so I did. And I guess I'm not trying to make no excuses or anything, but my um I don't wanna say my my willpower was almost it had been depleted already. Like I had because it was making I, I was fighting not taking that medicine the third day. I'm like, man, Lord, come on man, my head is rocking like all the other stuff I'm that, that's cool, but my head, like, I, I can just go take this BC powder in my car, and boom, it's gonna be gone. It's like, nah, hold on. You, you said you wanted me to heal you, so trust in me that I'm gonna do it. And but I'm gonna do it when I want to do it, not when you want me to do it. It's all right. But man. I, I, I kind of realized while I was driving er, a little earlier that I asked God to uh, reveal to me my flaws and show me my true self so that um, I could change myself for the better. And 
I don't I don't know if I should have asked him more specifically because he it was like he showed it all at one time like here I'm like man I'm ugly I just feel ugly today like it showed me insecurities and selfishness and pride and man you know man I I, I, man, ask God to show you your true self and watch what you see. You're gonna get a wake up call like, yeah, you thought you was pretty, okay? And, uh, but you know, I, I I be asking for this stuff, so I shouldn't have been complaining because I haven't been complaining for a while, and today it was just like. I don't, I don't, I can't even, I don't even know what happened today, because I just got beat up, like, I just, well, I know what happened, I, my faith, my faith wavered, and once that happened, the enemy creeped in, and he did a, a, a kuma, he, he did a black screen, so yeah, some of y'all don't know about Street Fighter, but Akuma is a, a dark character, and his finish move, he'll he'll be doing the oh, Yuki, oh, Yuki, and then next thing you know, he'll the screen will go black, and all you'll see is punches, boom, 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 and the screen come back on, and you on the floor, and he over here just gliding around. Yeah, he hit me with Akuma today, man. I'm talking about boy had me over here upside down, man. I just. Well, it took me a while to get up out of there. I say, Lord, man, I'm talking about I cried out to God today. I sat there and cried out to him. I was, I was like, God, man, I was yelling so loud in my head. I know he heard me yelling. He, <laughs> it's funny now, but when I was doing it, boy, I was, I was yelling in my head like, God, help. That's all I kept saying was, God, Father, help! That's all I, hey, man, he sent them boys to get them up off me, though, man, because, but, boy, he, man, that boy was, on, I ain't going to even front, man. I'm, I'm crying today. I'm just not, and, you know, I was walking around, and I was, I tried to keep it to where, you know, when I'm going through something, I, I try not to let people see that in me. Like, I still try to pick people up. Still do my scriptures and stuff, man. Sometimes I don't be wanting to do them scriptures. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I do not be wanting to do it all the time, but I do it because I know some people are almost dependent on them, so I feel it's an obligation that I must do it, even if I don't want to do it because it's not about me, it's about God and His kingdom. So I must put my personal feelings aside and continue this mission regardless of how I feel or what's going on in my life but I tell you what I I, 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 I ain't letting him crack my faith uh, my, see man you gotta look he, he's that full arm of God is the helmet of salvation you got the uh, breastplate of righteousness you got uh your shield of faith. Then you got your you got your sword. You gotta keep a sword with you, man. And then you got your belt of truth. Then you got your shoes to preach the uh, gospel. I got order now. Um, 